Ivanka Trump was once a member of the Manhattan elite, but a lot changed since she followed her dad to Washington in 2017. Her former best friend is speaking out about the relationship they once shared, as well as why it fizzled out. According to journalist Lysandra Orstrom, a longtime friend of Ivanka Trump, the daughter of Donald and Ivana was on top of the social order in middle school. In a tell-all piece in Vanity Fair, Orstrom wrote that she met Ivanka in the seventh grade at one of Manhattan's premier all-girls schools, Chapin, whose alumni includes Jackie Kennedy. And according to the writer, Ivanka ruled the halls, Orstrom wrote. After spending the previous four years in social isolation in the suburbs, I was eager to land on the popular side of the classroom, ruled over by Ivanka. Ivanka and about five other wild, entitled, precocious preteens. Orstrom said that Donald Trump once asked her if Ivanka was the prettiest girl in school, a question she initially took as a joke. She wrote, "...before I learned that the Trumps have no sense of humor about themselves, I remember answering honestly that she was probably in the top five. That reportedly elicited some badgering questions from the older Trump, who interrogated her about which girl at the school could possibly be more attractive." Orstrom also claimed that outside of questions about Ivanka, Donald Trump would barely acknowledge her, with one exception. She says the future president would usually congratulate her if he noticed that she lost any weight. Ivanka Trump and Lysandra Orstrom were best friends for over 10 years, to the extent that she described their relationship as more sisters than best friends. However, eventually the connection between the two women began to crumble, and things seemed to bubble up to the surface around the time that Ivanka got married to Jared Kushner. She wrote, "...in 2009, shortly after I was one of two maids of honor in Ivanka's wedding, our friendship finally broke under the weight of our differences." The day after their wedding, Orstrom started a new job in an unfamiliar field of work. She expected she expected her friend to ask how it was going, but over the course of the following weeks, she said Ivanka never did. When Orstrom reached out via text message, Ivanka reportedly responded with a reply that had the tone of, I don't have time for this, not exactly the kind of vibe you'd like to get from your so-called closest friend. Ivanka Trump and her father spent their D.C. years trying to cultivate an image of advocating for America's working class, but according to Lysandra Orstrom, Ivanka's true thoughts about people less fortunate than her is far from sympathetic. She recalled one episode in which a casual book recommendation seemed to bring out Ivanka's true colors, writing, "...I had recently recommended Empire Falls, Richard Russo's 2001 Pulitzer Prize-winning novel about the life of a diner manager in a working-class community in Maine. Lee, why would you tell me to read a book about fucking poor people. I remember Ivanka saying, "...what part of you thinks I would be interested in this?" Talk about a different tone. Donald Trump has been accused of having a temper. Think of his banned social media accounts and the boisterousness of his rallies. However, Ivanka Trump, for a while, had a different approach. As Lysandra Orstrom described, Ivanka brought a more refined sense to the Trump name and wasn't known for being so bombastic. But according to Orstrom, times have changed. She wrote, "...when Ivanka joined her dad's administration, I was sure she would step in to moderate her father's most regressive racist tendencies. I've watched as Ivanka has laid waste to the image she worked so hard to build. Orstrom added that she's talked to many of Ivanka's school friends about how appalled they are about Ivanka's public silence regarding many of Trump's more inflammatory policies, but for the most part, the members of that social circle have remained publicly silent on the topic. That's arguably with good reason, as the repercussions of publicly criticizing a Trump have proven themselves to be very real. The Trump White House had a steady revolving door of those who'd been hired and fired, and critics of the president and his family have largely been humiliated. The saying goes, like father, like daughter, and that certainly seems to be the case for Donald and Ivanka Trump. According to Lysandra Orstrom, Ivanka in her school days had a tendency to communicate to her teachers that they had never witnessed a student so talented as her. She reportedly always looked put together, made a habit of swearing, enjoyed McDonald's cheeseburgers, and, quote, "...had the Trump radar for status, money, and power, and her dad's instinct to throw others under the bus to save herself." The fact is that I'm absolutely you know, proud to be a Trump. And I'm, you know, like, proud of my family name and I'm proud of everything they've done and ever accomplished." Of course, the close relationship between Ivanka and her father is not groundbreaking news, as the Donald has made it fairly clear that Ivanka is his favorite child, and that relationship is somewhat transactional. As noted by writer McKay Coppins, writing for The Atlantic in 2019, Ivanka's favorite child status had long been tied to the good press she generated for her dad. For that article, Coppins spoke to former White House aide Cliff Sims, who explained, "...for Donald Trump, everything comes back to optics. She is the archetype of 
what he wants, the most beautiful face, the most buttoned-up message, everything just exactly the way it should be. Many people have a toxic best friend story, and for Lysandra Orstrom, that toxic best friend was arguably Ivanka Trump. As she wrote in Vanity Fair, Orstrom indicated that Ivanka made a habit of threatening her social standing, all while she was trying to navigate a tumultuous environment as a journalist in a foreign country, she recalled. While Ivanka was laying the foundation for her conquest of Manhattan, I was experiencing a new reality in Lebanon. During my first two year stint in Beirut, Ivanka regularly emailed me messages like, When are you getting your your ass back to NYC, you're going to be replaced." She added that Ivanka never asked her how she was doing, even when she likely knew her friend was, at the time, contacting her from a literal war zone. To put it lightly, the ongoing Israel-Palestine conflict is far too complicated of a topic for us to get into. Suffice to say, there are heated opinions on both sides of the issue. It's the kind of topic in which differing opinions can tear apart families and ruin friendships, and according to Lysandra Orstrom, that's exactly what happened between her and Ivanka Trump. Ivanka famously converted to Judaism before marrying Jared Kushner, and things subsequently got complicated for her and Orstrom. She wrote in Vanity Fair. She had started dating Jared Kushner, whose family family was Orthodox Jewish, and my pro-Palestinian stance began to chafe. Since 2007, I've worn a necklace with my name written in Arabic, and Ivanka grew increasingly irritated by it. Sometimes she would randomly say, I hate that thing. It came to a head one night when Ivanka allegedly chastised Orstrom for wearing the necklace, suggesting it might even be offensive to her own boyfriend, who was Jewish. According to Orstrom, Ivanka said, How can you wear that thing? It just screams terrorist. We truly don't know how to respond to that. We shamelessly love the UK's royal family, there's no denying it. Any sighting of Prince William and Kate Middleton, Countess in, will be there. But Lysandra Orstrom describing Ivanka Trump and her family as American royalty doesn't seem to have the same affectionate undertones compared to the way people profess their love for the British royals. Speaking about Ivanka's emerging practice of taking her children on stage with her for Trump rallies, Orstrom said, "...aligning herself with her dad's Banana Republic-style administration made no sense to me, until my friend suggested suggested that Ivanka took her kids to the rally to show them that they are American royalty. Of course, not everyone outside of Ivanka's family agrees. Orstrom scorched Ivanka by referring to her less as royalty and more as someone who, quote, "...suddenly appoints herself to the role of unelected public official and begins to torch democracy." Ouch. New York City is one of the best places in the world, and Ivanka Trump grew up with the Big Apple at her fingertips. It's no surprise, then, that she's reportedly craving the acceptance of Manhattan High Society once again. However, the only problem, according to Lysandra Orstrom, is that the New York scene allegedly doesn't want her back. In the view of her former best friend, the family has gone too far to be welcomed back to their old stomping grounds. As she wrote, "...I miss the time when the Trump family quest for power was not dangerous to the country." Orstrom also speculated that Ivanka will most likely find a new home in Palm Beach, where she estimated that, quote, "...most misdeeds are forgiven if you have enough money." And it looks as though other members of the Trump family will retreat to Florida to lie low after the chaos that's ensnared Washington, D.C. According to People, Melania Trump was spotted in Florida in December 2020 checking out potential schools for her son, Barron. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about the latest hot topics are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.